hello there i have an update and also you can say it a request regarding the covid 19 uh, many youngsters are are assuming that they are less susceptible to covid 19 infection and they are roaming around they are ignoring the warning um, who recently released a video saying that youngsters are equally you know susceptible to infection uh, although their immune system works better than the elders but they can be a potential uh, carriers and a spread among people among their loved one their family members or anyone they come into contact with so even if you are having a strong immune system, you are a carrier, a potential carrier, and you can spread to other people. So we should also learn lesson from um, Italy, Spain, USA, uh, where youths ignore the uh, you know precautionary measures to to avoid uh, socializing. So they were partying, and and there there you can see the. Uh, a very rapid rise in the the number of covid infected infected people so we should avoid doing that uh, there are many ways where you you can you can show your you know youthfulness but not by being stupid spreading covid 19 distancing don't be covid yacht covid yacht you know it's uh, it means someone who doesn't believe that the COVID-19 is something serious to be considered and they just ignore all the the, the protocol set by health agencies or WHO or government and covid are also person who do panic buying and create chaos in the society or even they do fear mongering so there is hope as long as we practice social distancing government uh, is doing their job and i know some people may compare the government role to other nations but there is no point in in comparing this and making political comments government is trying to fight with whatever resources um, they have and it's our duty to practice social distancing if we don't follow social distancing we will definitely be required to to have more medical facilities and then testing staffs testing kits and all but before that we can uh, avoid the unnecessary burden on our finances finances and our medical team and other administrative agencies by just practicing social distancing if you are feeling sick stay at home stay away from your uh, family members and also don't rush for any normal kind of treatment uh, to the hospital because hospital is already burdened with uh, you know the cases of covid 19 and and there is a chance that you may get infection visiting public places so stay in though and uh, one thing i would like to tell you through this um, you know this picture here uh, if you are so so consider this case uh, are you young the answer if the answer is no then stay at home if yes there is again two uh, possibility so is your strong system immune system strong if your answer is no then stay at home and if your answer is yes then you should know that even if you are young with strong immune system you are also equally susceptible to this infection so again stay at home okay so if your government uh, 
calls for a lockdown follow the protocol okay through social distancing distancing we can prevent the spread of this virus and uh, talking about india uh, we have like we have started uh, the lockdown from today i know it's like uh, just one day trial by the government but i i i i think that there will be more lockdown at the state government level in coming future and it's our duty to to spread the message to the people who are unable to get the message through social media or they don't have internet they are daily based worker they are poor people who actually don't know and they are just relying on the the messages spread on the whatsapp so whatsapp is really you know um, helping people but at the same times it is uh, also creating false information uh, spreading false information by some people like some people talk that there is uh, vaccine for this some people talk that it's like a social by code so i would also want to let you know that please tell the people who are unaware of the facts um you know the truth tell them the truth the the your maid the the guy who clean your house or the guy who swipes the street if he or she is unaware of the fact tell them the fact and the precautionary measures and if you are under lockdown please also ask your uh, you know ask the people who are helping you like your um, your maid your your cook or your driver to stay at home and and just and maybe you can uh, support him financially because if you did uh, redu- deduce the this the salary from then this that poor guy is relying completely upon you maybe he may have some saving but if you you feel like that they really need financial support and and if you are capable enough then go ahead help them and if there are some daily wage workers or or anyone who you think should be poor you should be passive you should be you know considerate about them and give them some food or some money i guess we we have enough number of uh, people in the world or in in any cities across india or globe that they are rich enough to share a meal with uh, anyone any poor people maybe for even for one week or two week so be kind to us other fellow whom you think that they need support and they don't have money or they don't have food for their family although some the government from some states are are helping uh, by distributing you know rice and you know pulses like some food for free uh, to the poor who are in lockdown like kerala government ya yeah, up government so apart from this um, if you feel that your state government is not doing uh, such kind of or not taking such kind of initiative to help the poor or daily wage worker uh, you should go ahead and 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 help the people who are at least who are close to you like like the guy who used to sell the vegetable at the corner on his small cart so if you feel that that guy need help or because he has a big family and he is the sole uh, uh, bread maker so you should go ahead to help uh him with food with money with medicine and don't panic and is another thing that we should not panic we should not do panic buying because if you think that you are trying to save yourself by buying all the food stuff and mask and everything then remember it's not just about the safety of you is about the safety of everyone around you so if someone is sick he or she should be first taken care of because 
he can be a potential you know carrier and spread the the the, the infection so um so you understand what i mean and um today uh, is janta curfew um uh, asked or requested by uh, our honorable prime minister modi so please follow with the guideline and there is um uh, one more request before i say goodbye that so the curfew is still 9 and and so after 9 what you guys are going to do don't just jump into um, into you know public places after 9 celebrating wow we did it no the fight is still not over and style fight will continue for many many days to to come and stay uh, indoor just celebrate at home and then go inside your house don't need to gather and meet your friends and don't need to do high five or or you know hug someone there is because it will not serve any purpose if you um start you know meeting people immediately after the janta curfew then the message is not delivered at all you didn't got the message so even after 9 uh, when the janta curfew is over stay at home and don't start immediately meeting people so i hope you got the message and and please spread the message thank you stay safe and we will overcome this pandemic together adios